effort. Mm -hmm. Additionally, I would also like to thank parents, friends, and family for attending, as without your support, we would not be where we are today. Now, around March of last year, I was notified that I was in the running for salutatorian. But I didn't dwell upon it too much, but rather just kept working, or should I say, marching along the way. <laughs> As a result, when I clinched a position this year, I was really excited and proud of my work. School went by and in May, I was eating lunch in Mr. Baldwin's room when he asked a really, really important question. He asked me, Powell, so what are you writing for your speech? After finishing my Clash Royale game, I turned around and started laughing and said, that was a good one. Why would I write a speech? That is when I realized that if you are a salutatorian, you have to indeed write a speech. So just like 98% of all my work done in high school, I procrastinated, I procrastinated until the last minute, quite literally. But for real, Mr. Baldwin, I would truly, 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 from the bottom of my heart, sincerely thank you for asking that question. Otherwise, I may have never written this. So everyone, please sit tight, buckle in, and here we go. As I stand you all today, I would like to remind you that mm, I am your fellow peer. I grew up with you all these last four years, and in some cases, even longer. So trust me, I am in no position to provide you with any life-altering advice, because I am only 17 years old. <laughs> However, I would like to mention a few lessons I learned throughout my years that you may be able to learn from as well. Our class underwent a high school experience Ooh. unlike any other generation. These few years have been crazy and nothing can She's com to compare to them. Like <laughs> Will Smith at the Oscar times Kanye crazy. We missed almost two years of physically being in high school. I remember sophomore year in gym class, I was conversing about why Mr. Alvarez wholeheartedly believes the Boston Celtics actually has a decent chance of winning the NBA championship when I heard about a possible two-week quarantine. Those two weeks dragged on until our junior year. I know all of us were excited and joyous at the thought of a two-week long break. We could play video games such as Genshin Impact, Valorant, Fortnite, or watch Netflix and sleep in it. However, none of us expected time to be snatched away from our grasp so unforgivingly and without resistance. Our peach desks were replaced with our dining tables, couches, and in some cases, our comfortable beds. We were forced to sit at home 24-7, working on laptops devoid of physical contact. Our joys soon turned to annoyance and longing for the days where we longed through those busy hallways. Consequently, time, my friends, is so valuable and precious and something that we must all truly appreciate. I know we have heard how the future is uncertain, so take advantage of the present. But these past two years have truly opened our eyes to the experiences we may take for granted. So I urge you to utilize your time wisely and to spend it on people and things that are meaningful to you. I mean, hey. Orange, you glad we did make it through high school? <laughs> Graduates, I don't know about you, but 18 years have flown by so quickly. It's amazing how life flashes by in seconds. Although we have been influenced and molded into individuals we are today due to our past experiences, it does not mean we do not stop growing and changing. Our lives are a canvas that we slowly paint every waking moment. As a result, 
I urge you to look ahead and be willing to embrace the difficult challenges that will surely hit us as we take the next step in our lives. We must keep stroking the paintbrush back and forth on our lives campus, uh, canvas. Whether it is a dot or multiple strokes, we must keep moving ahead. This is the only way that we can succeed and be able to face life with heads held high. Although we have many unknown difficulties that we will soon face, our class's demeanor and the manner in which we handle the pandemic, learning through various physicals and social barriers, I can confidently say that we all have the mentality and tools to be able to overcome any challenge. As former NBA legend and five-time NBA championship winner Kobe Bryant states, no matter how difficult the challenge is, always stay positive and believe in yourself. I strongly urge you to strive to see the positive in every situation and overcome your obstacles. We all have a purpose and meaning for being alive in this world. No matter what people say, the actions you do and say to others truly have an impact. So spread kindness, positivity, love, and make others laugh. Life is too short to let negative things bring you down. No one can add to their life by worrying every moment. With that, I think it would be a stellar time to make a joke. <clears throat> Here it goes. What tests require a PhD to get a hundred on? Mr. Donnie's Albert.io and Edulastic test. Apa yang kakaknya Vlad? Masang payung? In all seriousness, I would like to thank all my students for your sacrifice and dedication. Without them, I would not have been the person standing before you all today. I would also like to thank my mom and dad. You guys have sacrificed so much for me. Thank you for teaching me to overcome adversity and to embrace my culture. I am a proud Indian immigrant and I hope my success can inspire other kids like myself to reach for their dreams. Finally, to my friends, you guys have been with me and made my high school experience something I can truly remember and enjoy and I am truly grateful for you all. We made it guys. A scholar, lyricist and poet Drake once said, we started from the bottom, now we're here. As I conclude, remember to be yourself and stay true to yourself. We all have different callings, so don't try to follow someone else's path. Pave your own and leave your mark. Once again, we all have a canvas, so what will you paint on it? To be honest, I didn't really know how to end this, so as Mr. Fresano always says, Go Bears! <laughs>
The title may sound grandiose. Yung matangkad daw yun, hindi nalaki yun. Biology teacher ko yun. Mm. I am just like each and every one of you. Yan, yan, yan lang dito. My friend Powell shares the same sentence. Nevertheless, we are in no manner superior because of some trivial indicators such as academic ranking. We are all 18-year-olds who have spent four years in the same environment. So I hope what I say today resonates with you all, if only a bit. We had a normal freshman year. Abruptly stolen by the pandemic, a year and a half was taken from us, that of which sparked a rift with both our relationships and our studies. Coming into senior year, we were yet again forced into an enclosed space, devoid now of the substance that one and a half years could have provided for us. Knowing this, we still prevailed. I've no doubt of the laborious nature of virtual school. Coming into junior year, we maintained a preconceived Virtual learning would be easy. Quite frankly, it was not. Yet the time we spent apart, funnily enough, brought us closer. Who knew we would have to get through a pandemic? Who knew we would fight with people close to us or become friends with total strangers in our classes? We never know what will happen next, but we must be prepared to face uncertainty. Continue to live in the present moment because the future is certainly uncertain. The school has definitely changed over the years. I remember that eventful day in March when we were all sent home. What was supposed to be two weeks turned into the remainder of the school year. Nevertheless, we made memories then as well. I remember what was essentially Zoom high school in our junior year. I remember returning back to school during our senior year with everyone's face covered by a mask. I remember all of these things and I want you all to remember them too because they are all our own memories that we alone keep close to us. They are the recorded legacies of our struggles, but the ample recollections of our determination. While we may walk on our own separate paths, these memories... Bergenfield High School, class of 2022, valedictorian, Franz Rommel, Marcelino, Gloria. Ah, na naman ang Pilipino. Bergenfield High School, class of 2022, salutatorian, Powell, Roy, Arrigo. In Jan. Class Vice President Nick Pro. Class President Sophia Renatos Jarsek. Class Treasurer Joshua Moon.
Ayah, dia nampak kubah kawai. <laughs> 